Um, the Alabama Hills really has been Lone Pine's playground for about the last 50 years. And it's becoming more and more well known and it's becoming, ga gaining some notoriety from both the filming that's happened there over the last 50 years and now uh, it's more of a recreational area. We come up here because we just love this area. It's, it's neat to walk around in this area. It's a beautiful area. It's untouched. It's quiet. The, the most wonderful thing about this place is that it's been preserved. Um, it's available to the people and yet it's just the way it was. One thing that's nice about the Alabama Hills is they're really accessible. So even if you're not real mobile, you can still enjoy them. But we're getting a lot of young people rock climbing, bicycling, and even, you know, young families that go there to camp because it's so accessible. Since the early 1900s, uh, producers, directors, you know, coming up, coming up this way from Hollywood on vacation, found the Eastern Sierra and the Alabama Hills. They took that uh, sense of its beauty and the landscape back to Los Angeles and said, we, we could make movies up there. And so the idea of honoring the heritage and the, and the landscape of how these films were made up here is what the museum is about. The museum's largest exhibit is its back lot which is the Alabama Hills. Uh, John Ford, Bud Bedeker, uh, you know, Leslie Sounder, all these great directors uh, made, every major Western director made movies up here. Every major Western actor, John Wayne, Randolph Scott, Roy Rogers, Gene Autry, Hopalong Cassidy, Ray, Lone Ranger, made movies up here.